this what you make it? That shit been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. Like this hey everyone, it's your girl Fifi, and welcome back to another video. And today's video is a cooking video. Yes, today I'm about to cook some neck bones and potatoes. I got my bell pepper, my onions, my white onions, the green onions, the red potatoes, my seasoning on the side, and of course some vegetable broth along with my what? My Pioneer Woman crock pot. So let's get started. Right now I'm about to go ahead and cook, cut up my onions. You can cut up your onions either way you want to. It's your preference and your choice. So let's go ahead and go ahead and cut these vegetables up. Now you know your girl had to put a disclaimer. Yes, your girl's hands is washed. And all my vegetables is washed as well. Um, after I get done cutting up these onions, I am going to cut up some bell peppers. It's washed on the outside. When I slice my bell pepper and stuff, I also clean on the inside or whatever to get all the excess seeds and stuff like that. But like I said, my hands are clean, washed, the vegetables are clean, washed. The meat is clean, real, real clean, cause I had it been soaking in some vinegar and some water. You know how you're supposed to clean your meat? My, my meat is very, very clean as you can tell in this video. So go ahead and, and relax, enjoy me chopping up these vegetables and I will get back right to you. Right now I'm about to cut up some red potatoes. I take the skin off my potatoes. Now you don't have to take off the skin on your potatoes, but I prefer the skin off my potatoes because you can actually put them things in that pot whole just as is. But I'm gonna cut some of mine up like little dices and then I'm still gonna peel all my red potatoes apart and add some whole potatoes inside as well. You can, you know, do however you want to do it. You ain't got to do it just like feet, feet. But, uh, I'm taking the skin off mine. And I will be putting some dice and some whole potatoes. Now take a look at this meat. This meat is definitely clean. Now don't run your meat over no water and act like it's gonna be clean. No, it's not gonna be clean. I'm using some onion powder right here for my seasoning. Then next I'm using some salt grass steak seasoning. It's seven spice for my um, meat. It makes your meat taste good. Cause it's like a seasoning blend. And as well, I will be using some garlic powder to put some seasoning on top of my meat. And I will chase that with some adobo seasoning. And after I get done sprinkling some adobo seasoning to the meat, I'll be using some white pepper instead of black pepper. The white pepper gives it a spice to it. And be careful how much you use it because if you use too much, oh, your food going to be too much spicy. So just use a little bit or just use the amount that I use. But I feel like I could have used a little bit, you know, of white pepper. 
and then get to mixing it all together rub massage that meat okay you got to massage that meat make sure that meat gets all the season on all the crevices all the holes of the neck bones and baby it's gonna be juicy after it gets done so watch this succulent massage <laughs> Now we about to place our neck bones in our crock pot, my Pioneer Woman crock pot, and I'm gonna add my veggies to the top. My um, cut up, mix it with the bell pepper, onions, two types of onions, and I'm about to add my potatoes to the crock pot. Of course, while I'm adding my potatoes to the crock pot, I am going to add some vegetable broth. You can either use chicken broth, beef broth, or vegetable broth in this case I am using vegetable broth and I'm using three cups of vegetable broth and baby this is much needed you can either use water but I prefer you to get you some vegetable broth for this dish because you won't regret it and then after I place my vegetable broth your girl about to slap some brown gravy to the mix I got this idea from iHeart Recipe Baby, when I said gravy on some types of meat, I had to try it for myself, and I'm glad I did. After I add the brown gravy to the mix, I mix it all together because you want the seasoning hit the potatoes as well. So stir that baby all up in the pot. Look how juicy it's looking. Look how pretty it's looking already before it even get cooked. And honey, after all this get done for six hours in the pot on high heat, Oh, just wait to the end. I ain't gonna tell you the rest. Just watch. Now I'm about to put the temperature on high heat. Like I said before, cook that baby for six hours and you won't regret it. Thank you, Felita's Way. Shout out to my girl, Felita's Way, for giving me the inspiration on doing this cooking video. She also do cooking videos on her channel as well. So go and subscribe and support my girl, Felita's Way, okay? Ta-da! Look at those potatoes. All the potatoes are seasoned well. The meat are seasoned well. The gravy sucked into the neck bones perfectly. And watch how I fork the, the neck bones. Look how the meat just fall off the bone. So juicy and succulent. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and share me out. Share me out. Ah, share your girl out. Until next time, I'll see you in another video. Peace. You can come on over if you want to. We can watch some TV, watch some Netflix if you want. You, you can come on over if you want to. Do whatever, do whatever we want to